So Omar, if you could just give me a summary of like the most important points you, you discussed in terms of project management. Okay, I, I started off by speaking about a little bit about the history of, of project management and that it is actually as a sort of emerging profession, still very young. The first project management um, organization was only founded in 1965, interestingly enough called Internet, which has since called it, uh, renamed itself the International Project Management Association. I then spoke about um, the role of the people and how that currently our emphasis is still focused on, on what we do um, rather than the way that we are. Okay? And, I, uh, and I think that, that one of the major things that we need to look forward to is the, uh, the, the role of the personality of the individual as well and their makeup in, as, as people basically being the greatest productivity factor that you can imagine. I'm sorry, so you're talking about the, the personality of the project manager? Yes, that's right. Okay, so w what would be the kind of key personality traits that they should have? Well, in fact, uh, they aren't because it depends on the project. Okay. okay. If, I'm, if my project is to, to actually implement, um, let's say, for instance, get uh, a building ready for people to move in next week, okay, I have to approach it very, very differently from when I'm using hundreds of subcontractors to, uh, to, let's say, for instance, go and put in infrastructure scattered around the country, which is very, very different if I am uh, responsible for developing a uh, brand new application which has never, ever been done before. You know? So what I need is, is very, very different. And unfortunately, we're not paying enough attention to, to these, those essential differences. Okay. Well, maybe just in summary, I actually... Um uh, remembered a book that I read many years ago called Peopleware. Yes. It was given to me by a, by a good friend of mine. Yes, I recognize those names. And yes. I mean, the principles were almost common sense, but, yes. but it flies out of the window when it comes to you know, companies actually adhering to those principles. Sadly, yeah. and I quoted from a study that was done in the UK by British Computer Society and, and Royal Academy of Engineering, and where they said exactly that, where they said, in fact, if we only had to start applying those things which we already know how to do, we could already dramatically improve the situation. <coughs> the second thing that, uh, that I focused on was um, on the organization's role, and that is that if the organization is not actually capable of germinating or incubating um, uh, good projects, well, then the best project manager, frankly, is going to fail. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, I just looked at what our state of the art is in terms of the space of project management versus program management versus portfolio management. Okay. I think it's important to draw all those distinctions. Yes. So maybe in summary, if you could just tell me uh, if people would like to join the Project Management Institute, how do they contact you? Uh, go to our web website. The easiest would be www.pmisa.org. Dot ZA, okay. and uh, from there they in fact fill in a, an electronic application form and everything else can happen electronically. Thank you, Alma.